Hey guys, Thomas with Subie Speed. Now a lot of guys out there want the fastest car, but being able to stop fast is often overlooked even though it's just as important. Now upgrading your stock brake pads is one of the most cost effective options to increase your vehicle's handling performance. But there are a ton of brake pads to choose from, so today we're going to break it down to help you decide which brake pad is right for you. Let's start with what your car came with from the factory. OEM pads are designed to be quiet and have a minimal amount of brake dust. And once you start pushing these through spirited driving or a track day, you'll soon realize that they're not fit for performance driving. Brakes work by converting the kinetic energy from a moving car into thermal energy when you're decelerating. Now the faster you drive, the more heat the brakes will generate in order to slow you down. So when you're picking out a brake pad, it's crucial to find one that can withstand that amount of heat so you get the optimal brake performance. Now there are three different kinds of brake pads. There are street pads, there's a hybrid between street and track, and then there are full-on race pads. Street pads, like our Hawk HPS, our StopTech Street Performance, and our EBC Red Stuff are designed to work in all weather and temperature conditions. They're not going to be very harsh on your rotors, nor will they make much noise or brake dust. So these are going to be perfect for everyday driving, while being a significant upgrade over the OEM pads. Street and track pads, like the Hawk HP Plus, Ferrero DS2500s, and the EBC Yellow Stuff are all pads you can take to the track, push them to their limits, but still use them to drive home on the street with. However, that great track performance does come with a compromise. You will see moderate amounts of noise and brake dust, but it's all worth it if you want the most streetable brake performance. Last up are the race pads. These are going to be your Hawk DTC 60s, your Ferretto DS 1.11s, and your Project Mew Club Racer. These are going to give you the ultimate stopping power, but you will need some heat for them to work effectively. You'll know exactly when they're not up to temps because they're going to make a really loud squeal. Not only can these pads be noisy, but when they're cold, they don't have much bite, so they're not safe to use on the street. These pads do have a heavy amount of wear and brake dust, but when you're on the track, these are the pads you want to have. Choosing brake pads to do more than one job will always lead to compromise. That's why if you want the best of both worlds, we recommend you getting two separate sets of pads. A street pad for daily driving, and a race pad to swap out when you're at the track. I hope this has given you a better understanding on the differences between brake pads. If you want to check out the brake pads we have available on our website, go ahead and click the top right hand corner of the video. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email at sales.subiespeed.com or give us a ring at 888-885-2002. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on your WRX, STI, BRZ, or Forester. Remember to hit that subscribe button for more 2015 WX and STI videos. If you haven't already, let us know in the comment section down below what other videos you'd like to see. Click that Subi Speed logo down there to visit our website and connect with us through Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We love seeing your guys' installs and projects that you're working on, so feel free to share those. Also, add us on Snapchat by scanning that ghost over there to see what kind of shenanigans we're up to in the shop or when we're out on a trip. And if you haven't already done so, check out our latest videos. Till next time, guys.